I chose to do case study uh, 21 when a relationship won't end and it talks about stalking after relational termination while reading this I got both sides of the story and normally it's the man that is perceived to be stalking the female and when it comes to this case study um, communication is imperative communication is extremely important and when communication is involved it has to be true communication people being true to each other um, when you're communicating in a relationship you let the other person know how you feel about them and sometimes it could be a bit much um, on, on one person's part the person that wants to pursue the relationship is way too much and then the person that don't really want the relationship to continue um, uses less communication not enough and ends up leading that person on um, I would say that when in a relationship the person that wants the relationship to go further to uh they want to keep pursuing it they're too persistent and i mean it says that persistence is valuable you should pursue what you want and keep pursuing but at one point at some time you have to stop because the other person who don't really want the relationship to continue ends up feeling like you're you could be obsessed with them and that's what ends up happening that person that keeps pursuing the relationship is obsessed and then is considered stalking and um it's like they end up trying to figure out what the other person is doing all the time and when you do that, you find things you really didn't want to see. For example, a guy wants to pursue a relationship with this female, so he continues to ride by, his ride by her house multiple times and then sees another car there, and it's probably another male, and that's the assumption that he's going to make. So he was looking for something which was not um, what he found. Another thing at the end of him pursuing so much and getting rejected he's not taking that rejection as oh she really don't want to talk to me he's taking that rejection as indirect as um, she wants to play hardball or hard to get maybe she want me to pursue her that's that's probably like what he's thinking and on Anna's part or that other person who don't want to pursue a relationship is is poor communication if they're leading that person on or if they're being indirect about the rejection. Um, you can't just think about breaking off a relationship. You have to think about what you really want out of the deal. If you want this relationship to continue, you continue with it and communicate. But if you don't want it to continue, you stop it right at that moment and not continue at all. Because way too many things can happen. Even if you know that you're going to hurt that person's feelings, stop it. Do not continue. Because you much rather hurt the person's feelings than for you to continue and then end up having to put a restraining order on someone. And then their rage end up above and beyond. And then things just completely get out of hand. Um, to answer the questions at the end, number one was, hold up, let me find it. Okay, the first question. Our culture seems to promote a script that says persistence in pursuing relationships and potential partners pays off. Where does the script or societal message come from? What factors perpetuate and reinforce the belief that persistence ultimately leads to success, particularly where relationships are concerned? 
I found that in the Handbook of Relationship Initiation by William R. Kupak and Brian H. Spitzberg. Um, rejection is conveyed as hard to get. It's indirect. Either um, the acceptance is acceptance or, or of encouragement. Uh, they feel that you're, you're encouraging to keep pursuing the relationship when you reject them. Um, the rejection is too polite. And it it leads to um, conveyed, uh, it conveys mixed feelings. Question number two: At what point does pursuit of relationship become excessive? How do you know when you should abandon the goal to have a relationship with someone? When someone can't accept that a relationship is over, that's when you really need to just um, cut it off because they're going to definitely be obsessed even more um also when you've noticed strange acts or um being brushed off if a person don't want to be with you just accept it if they're brushing you off just accept it i mean sometimes you can pursue it just a little farther but eventually when you've been rejected for so many times and you feel like it's becoming overwhelming just leave it alone just move on many people enjoy seeing their partner be a gel be a little jealous it's number three when uh, when is jealousy productive and when is it unproductive in relationships how can you manage your own jealousy so that it doesn't become destructive um i say productive jealousy is um when a female for example wants to receive attention from her male companion she she does everything she can in her power to receive that attention or she wants to receive more quality time. So she's going to make her male companion jealous until she receives it. When it's unpro- unproductive, um, probably when it results to breakup, fights, unnecessary name calling, and all of the above. Um, you should address the issue and get answers instead of assuming Shouldn't jump to conclusions because it's really not going to solve anything. In a struggle when deciding when enough was enough and when Alex's behavior had become excessive, this is number four, excuse me. At that time, she broke off the relationship, avoided contact, and eventually called the police and took out a restraining order. In her place, what, if anything, would you have done differently? Why, what advice would you have given Anna at various points of her relationship with Alex? Why is hindsight or the view of of a friend so much clearer than what we see when we are directly involved in a relationship? I would have led I wouldn't have led him on. I would have definitely clearly let that the the guy know um the deal up front. I, if I don't want to be with you, I don't want to be with you, so let's just cut it off. Um, you should cut off, she should, she should have cut it off early and she shouldn't have let him on. When in a relationship, we tend to be one track minded and our friends on the outside looking in can clearly see a different point of view of the relationship.